of timber. Katie Silver has this report on the latest efforts to construct sustainable buildings. Putting the finishing touches on the world's tallest wooden building, Trait or Tree, is a 14-storey apartment block in Bergen, Norway. The wooden apartments were fabricated in Estonia, shipped over and then stacked on top of each other using a crane. Every few floors, there is a concrete slab which keeps the structure stable. It's one of a number of similar buildings springing up all over the world, including in Melbourne, Vienna, Stockholm and Vancouver. They are built using cross-laminated timber, where small timber sections are formed into large structural panels. This makes them light, strong and, most importantly, resistant to fire. In London, it's the iconic skyline, but with a difference. The 984-foot skyscraper could be the latest bold addition, joining the Gherkin, Shard, Cheese Grater and Walkie Talkie. A sleek 80-storey tower designed to be made almost entirely of wood. Architect Kevin Flanagan came up with the idea. People really enjoy living and working and going to school in timber environments, partly because they associate timber with the out of doors, with nature. It's shown that their stress levels are reduced by that means. The wooden tower was designed to be built here and soars 300 metres above London's iconic Barbican. The centre was designed after the Blitz and is considered a perfect example of brutalist architecture. Brutal because it's cold, concrete and industrial. But a wooden tower would change that. While this timber tower is a feasibility study and is unlikely to actually be built, a few miles east, builders are cladding the world's largest timber housing development in brick. Its architect says the brick is an exercise in public relations, as many buyers aren't yet ready for timber. This is really a revolutionary process that you're looking at now. This is really a revolution for construction. The future of construction has to be around timber. We have a housing crisis in the UK and worldwide. We need to build more homes, but we need to do that in a way which is not going to exacerbate the situation that we have with climate change. See all this stuff. All mm. around, yeah. Andrew War says despite the issue of deforestation, Building with timber is better for the environment than steel or concrete, as it's a renewable resource that comes from the earth. If these architects have their way, buildings of concrete or brick could become a thing of the past. Katie Silver, BBC News.